we are football couple hello and today is a very special video because we're going to be celebrating five years on youtube so to mark the occasion we're going to be showing you everything that we have collected in the past year so that is november 2021 up until november 2022 so this of course is not our full collection it's just everything we have collected in the last year and it is a whopping 16 binders so let's just crack into the first one So first up we have the Premier League Adrenaline XL 2023 binder. So we haven't shown this since we added the update cards and I think we might have added a golden ball in there as well. So let's crack into it. There we go. Boom. How awesome is it that? It looks first incredible. Page. First page full. All the golden ballers and of course the Invincible which to this day we have only pulled the one. Yeah, which quite is quite crazy isn't it? isn't it? So Havertz was the last golden ball that we added. I think the rest were in the last binder update right? I think so yes. Okay so moving on to the teams and we have now completed two of the teams which we didn't have completed before and there we go ramsdale yes so he was in the update pack of course with the wolves keeper random but it's in there and it's complete nice finally i have completed the arsenal page happy days so if you haven't picked that up and you want to complete your arsenal page that's what you need to do okay so we'll go through the teams kind of quickly because you have seen the rest completed well apart from the wolves one i guess okay so we have brighton Lampty's in there yeah lampty <laughs> of course huh. Nightmare. Okay, so there we go. Andy Palace. Yeah, and all teams complete, of course. Everton and the close up Fulham. It's quite random still, isn't it? Leeds. And then we have Leicester, Liverpool, the Man City team, and the Man United team. We then have the Newcastle team, the Forest team. You have them out there anymore? Yeah, kind of crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Then Southampton, Tottenham, and then coming to the end now, West Ham. And there we go, a complete Wolves team. There's the Wolves Keeper now. Again, in the update box. That's what you need to get if you want to complete your Wolves team. Okay, so then going on to the insert. So we had this completed quite quick, actually. Yeah. We needed base when we had this completed, which was crazy. We have the Super Stoppers and the Defensive Steals. Then we have the Midfield Masters and those lovely diamonds. They look so cool. Yeah, do let us know what your favourite insert type is down in the comments. Then we have the Fire and the Ice. I kind of wish there was more of those really do like those then we go on to the sort of six inserts we have the electric pace the top finishes and the adrenaline rush then on to the leaders which is the, is the most of oh no actually i don't know what i'm thinking <laughs> the titans world, and world class world, world class, world class um, yeah okay so they go all the way to there ending with the trophy then we go on to the update cards which as you can see down here there is a number and it does continue on. so that's yeah. where they go so the trophy is 468 and the first star signing card is 469 so you want to be putting them in your binder after the world classes and the trophy here's where they go yep so there we go that is them in the album i guess we have they're, a they're nice, that aren't they? they are really nice you have a nice hollow to them as well which is awesome i really like them there is quite a few as well as you can see there we go yeah quite a lot of transfers wasn't there yeah so let us know in the comments do you agree with the ones that your team has got or is there someone Forest that you fans. think they missed? Forest fans well, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> they could have had a box to themselves, couldn't they? Okay, so we do miss the last three, which is quite kind of annoying, but don't really matter, I guess. Then we do go on to our limited editions. We do still need that Halland, which is yeah. quite pesky. Kickoff multi-pack wasn't available anywhere near us. We couldn't get it online. I mean, yeah. we, we will get around to buying it. It's just not priority for us, is it? It's it gets about £15 at the minute, so it's quite painful. It's like insulting. We'll, we'll get it, it's we'll insulting. get it. Okay, so then we have the multi-pack ones and we have left the space for the signatures, which again, we will get eventually. Then we go on to the legends, which again are same available thing, yeah. in the multi-packs and the same thing with the signature variants. There's autos as well, but we haven't left a gap for that because we won't be putting them in our album, in our binder, if we do manage to pull them at any point. Yes, okay, then we go on to the tin ones. So we have the ones that's sort of guaranteed in each colour and then the four which are random. random then we have the mount which I'm not 100% sure where, where all these came from but they're kind of the extra ones aren't they? yeah one was in the okay yeah it's ah, the trippier ah the negatins that's yeah so are. the trippier we have we do actually have the trippier which goes here we was in the countdown calendar we've misplaced it we're moving things around at the moment so we can't find out at the moment we do have it and then Brooks was the first magazine one I think there's one out this week actually Come in soon that'll be there and then there's two more and then the final two limited editions here they were also in the update box so we've got leno and lingard i mean forest again yeah. 
could have had a pick of them, couldn't they? But Leno and Lingard, they're two decent ones, right? Yeah, and that ends the standard limited editions. Then we go on to the excellence. So we've got the Bruno from the tins. We got really lucky with that. We actually got it and twice. Yeah, and in our box. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. The Saka from the Advent, which is why we, yeah. know we definitely have a Trippier because we have a couple We've of We've opened two, yeah. And then we have Madison and we have War Prowse. So Madison was a magazine and War Prowse was a Panini.com exclusive. Yeah, so if you spent, I don't know if it's still on there at the moment, if you spend £20 on any Premier League product, I think it was, you get the War yeah. Prowse for free. I don't think it will be on there now. That was quite a while ago, yeah. but there is another one. I think it's um, Romeo to look out for. That one's not out yet. But there we go. That is everything for our Premier League binder. So let's crack into the next one. Okay, so next up we have the Match Attacks 2022-23 binder and in our last binder update we actually had a lot of questions about this. So as you can see this is quite a chunky binder, this because this is from the UK starter pack and we've heard other versions are smaller so everything might not fit in yours if you've got a different version. But let's go through what we have in ours and we start off with the only English team to have nine cards and no inserts and that is Chelsea. Quite funny. It's quite funny, it's kind of awkward isn't it? And then think, we go through the teams now. I think the UK starter pack is still available on Tops UK, so if you do want a nice chunky binder, you can pick that up. I think they will post most places, right? Yeah, they should. So, of course, this is a complete binder, including all the update cards. We did show in our last binder update how you can store your update cards. So if you have missed that binder update, you'll see this now, and we'll show you how we've put our update cards at least. If you want to do the same, or if you've done something different, do let us know that down in the comments. But here we go, on to the nine page teams, nine card page teams, with Sporting, Monaco, Milan, the Italian teams, Roma and the Scottish teams to end. But we go on to the insert, so we have next gens first, of course, all done. And then we have the Legends, lovely page, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I still can't believe how amazing that sort of holographic pattern is. It's so yeah, cool, isn't awesome it? Awesome stuff, isn't it? So then the Man of the Match signature styles, they're a different way around this time round because they were separate. We had the signature styles as one kind of card and Man of the Matches as another last season. They're combined this time around. We've got a merger. And we've got a 900 clubs to fit on one page. So the 101 does go with the rest. Awesome stuff. Benzema, obviously an awesome pick. Who's going to be 101 next season? Who knows? Shame that we don't get to see him in the World Cup. Black Edges, fantastic addition to this collection. Awesome stuff. We, it took us a while to get them though, didn't it? Yeah, that Bellingham was a little pesky, wasn't it? Yeah, the last it's three. The last three, was it? Felix, Bellingham and... Oh, that's a good question. It must have been Lewandowski. Must be. Okay must then. Heritage is here. There's quite a few of those. Doubled up on these quite a lot. And then we've, we have chose to put our tactic cards there to fill that four page yep. card gap there. We pretty much do that in every single album. It's just a standard now. So here's where we've put the update cards. After that, the new signings update multi-pack number one. In our last binder update, we only had the update pack number one and two in here. So we now have three in here as well. So that's something new that we'll see. And it's actually worked out brilliantly. So there is number one. Going on to number two. So we did open all three of these the other day. If you want to see these get opened, check that out in the iCAD. But then we go on to number three, which does have a kind of festive theme. And we left a gap for it, as you might have saw in our last binder update. And it actually goes on to the festive base cards and little inserts. So that's worked out perfectly, the festive yeah. transition. Don't you love it when an accidental plan comes together? <laughs> yeah. It's great stuff. Yeah, so we have separated the sort of festive limited editions to the rest. You'll see the festive limited editions later on with the rest of them. It just works better, doesn't it? There is a little overhang of one card before we go on to the chrome shields. Here's everything we have ourselves pulled from packs. No swaps, no buys. This is everything we have from packs. So we're yet to start buying and trading and things like that. But nearly a full page is quite a good effort from just pulling things ourselves, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I absolutely cannot wait for the Match Tax Chrome to release. Waiting every single day for that now. Okay, Woo! Chrome previews. Yeah, this will be very soon. I think we've got three new nets now, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a lot of new nets. Yeah, so that, this is the preview <laughs> to the Match Tax Chrome set, which should be releasing very, very soon. It was. It did say the 23rd of November. That didn't happen. So there's obviously a little bit of a delay, but we'll see where that goes. So we've put the exclusive rewards card there to mark the end 
of the Chrome previews and unfortunately we have to have a gap somewhere. That's where it is because then we get onto the limited editions. Fantastic to have them as a double page like that. Look at that. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Okay, so we obviously have the black and gold one from the starter pack yes. and then the Vinicius Junior came with that as well and yeah. the rest I just randomly inserted into packs. So, so that was the only black and gold one until very recently where we picked up as you can see here, limited edition number 28, the Phil Foden, that was in the selection box. Again, if you missed that, you can check that video out in the iCard. It is in shops, you can find it. It's a Tesco exclusive, I believe. So go ahead and pick that up. Then we go on to the blue limited editions. So, so far we have Luis Diaz, blue limited edition, but the other three have just released on the Black Friday deals. So we have Nabri, Fati, and Blahavich. We picked up two of them so far. The Fati, unfortunately for us, was with all four megatins and it is 50 pounds we've of course opened plenty of megatins so we've left that for now we'll probably go back find the card maybe it'd be an ebay job it'd be an ebay job who I think knows that one. but then we have the festive limited editions yeah so that will get filled very soon festive limited editions then because it is kind of a similar design to these gold limited editions which is why i want them together and that does uh, have a little overhang but it is a little switch up for the hat trick hero limited edition and the Legend Limited Edition. So cool. And then the Mega Tin Exclusives. All of them there. And then we go on to the Mini Tin ones. So the Haaland, the Messi, Goretzka and Pedri. The Audi Exclusive Dynamo Exclusive Editions. And then all three Update Limited Editions there. And again, similar to design to the first edition, Exclusive Edition Game Changers, similar to the Dynamos. We wanted them nearby. So here's where we've left, well, we've actually left the gap, haven't we? Because yeah. we only have two. We pulled two Sarnes, the Tops exclusive, and the Neymar, which was how up, I think, yeah. So we need to pick up the rest. That page will be full of purple and gold goodness one day. Yeah, hopefully. But that <laughs> does lead on to our first edition collection. As you can see, first edition stamps all over the place. We haven't added to this, really, because we haven't opened any more first edition multi-packs. Yeah. So we just fly through it very quickly. It is what it is. We need a lot still. We didn't open that much, did we? No. And that takes us to the end. Again, we haven't put our Crystal Parallels in away yet because, as we said in the last binder, we are moving stuff around at the moment, so it would have just taken too long. Wanted to get this video up for our channel birthday. We have a lot. We're going for the badges. We're not going for the full collection of the, <laughs> the Parallels. That would be kind of impossible. Like we said, we like to do things by pulling things from packs. So, yeah, it would be too hard, wouldn't it? But here we go. There is the Match Attacks 2022-23 binder. Let's get into the next one. Okay, next up we have the World Cup 2022 sticker album. And this is, of course, the famous sticker album that did feature in The Telegraph. So let's crack straight into it and see with us. what point <laughs> we're actually at. So we do like to leave these stickers that come with the starter pack unstuck. Just as a little nice extra, but there we go. There's a complete first page, including this FIFA one here and the Panini one. Yeah, more on these. We do actually need some of these still for our album, so that is quite ironic. I think it's just the one. It's Minamino. <laughs> but it's fine. It's, as well it's totally it? fine. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, it's two. But there we go. There's our first pages. We do still need one stadium. We need about 30 stickers in total. So we will open some more packs, maybe with the World Cup as well. So we'll probably do that. Okay, then we have some few advertisement bits here, so let's skip those. Yeah, the ongoing World Cup, of course, do let us know if you are enjoying it. Yeah, we're absolutely loving it. Okay, we have a complete Qatar team, so that's cool. The host, of course, already out at this point, but still cool, right? Still cool to have. Okay, then we go on to Ecuador, we still need the one. It's kind of a theme, we need one or two. Apart from Wales, we're doing terrible. So two for Senegal. And there we go, we have a complete Netherlands team. Good stuff. And England, we still need the team badge, which, the um, yeah. team sticker, we which is just annoying. We did recently add Calvin Phillips out. We did, so that that's was good cool. find. Yes, he did not make it in the paper, unfortunately. Again, we do like <laughs> to find all these stickers from packs ourselves. So this is everything that we've pulled ourselves from packs. Yes, okay, then we have the Iran team. And the American team is complete. Nil um, nil the other day, oh wasn't man, it? Oh that was a tough one. Okay, like I said, Wales is the worst one. We need four stickers for Wales. What's going on? I don't know what's happening there. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Then we go on to Argentina, just the one. And Saudi Arabia, of course, with that crazy win. That was mental, wasn't it? Mexico. And Poland. Need the one again. Just the one for Poland. 
The one for France as well. Yeah, I think there's a couple of collections. A couple of collections this season where we need Larice. Yeah, he's think, really winding us up. You'll see it next, the cards. I think it might be the top stickers as well. Oh, is it? It's everywhere. Larice stickers, we just cannot get apparently. It's <laughs> really, really frustrating. Okay, then we go on to Australia. Needing two there. Needing two. Yeah. Denmark, two again. Ericsson. Yeah, Ericsson. Yeah, we do need that one. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's a challenge. Okay, then one for Tunisia. Then we got the middle bit, a bit more advertising. We have a complete Spain though, that's quite good. Spain the Dark Horses, I don't yeah. think anyone fancied them. They were actually really good, weren't they? Yeah, Can't they wait did. to watch them again. Okay, then we want for Costa Rica. One for yes, Germany. So we are really close now with the collection. Minamino's one of the, <laughs> of the three. He completes the team as well, which is just painful. Yeah, it's okay. The team. Okay, then we have a complete Belgium. Um, we have Canada, so needing the one. It's quite a big one really, isn't it? Okay, and then we need two for Morocco. Yeah, so usually we do focus on the cards. So I don't actually believe we've completed a World Cup sticker album to this day. It is. It will be a so first, this might yes. Be a first. So the other showing we need is Brazil. Yeah, we really want to tick that one off. That's a painful one, isn't it? The it Brazil is, yes. badge. And Alison. Uh, Neymar out of the group stages. Yes, okay. So then we have Serbia, just need the one. And Switzerland, we actually need oh, three, which is quite yeah. something, isn't it? That's quite annoying. Okay, so we have Cameroon. Back to just needing the Switzerland one. Switzerland and Wales hunt coming soon, maybe. Portugal again. We just need that sort of team photo. Yeah, Ronaldo, yeah. the free agent. Yes, yeah, crazy, right? Okay, three for Ghana, actually. That's yeah, quite a lot. There's three teams that are bad yeah. then. Okay, then we Suarez. just need Suarez. Suarez. Ooh. Found Nunes recently. We did, yeah, that Stuck was a good one. In. Nice find. Okay, completed career. Son's there, yeah. And that's the end of the teams. That's the end of the teams. We did complete this one a while ago, which is really, really awesome. I absolutely love yeah. the timeline of the World What Cup. a feature this is. So cool, isn't it? Is England going to make it on to the new one for next time, maybe? Well, I don't know. If you take the Iran performance, yeah, probably, but you would say no. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. There's the rest of them there. And that is the end. So there's the two, the two that we actually need yeah, right there. Ericsson and Minamino, yeah. Quite frustrating. But we're, okay. we're going to leave them there, aren't we? So yeah. that's what we like to do. Okay, so there we go. That is our progress with the World Cup stickers. Let us know how you're doing with your album in the comments. Like we said, I am enjoying the World Cup. Let's crack into the next one. Next up, we have the Adrenaline XL World Cup 2022 card collection. So you've just seen the stickers. Now we're going to take a look at the cards. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Yeah, it's a really, really tricky decision. I'm honestly not sure. So let us know in the comments which one's better. What do you think? Yeah, do let us know, but let's get into it. And straight away with the Top Masters and the Invincible card. We did recently pull this Invincible card from one of our prediction videos from five packs, which was absolutely crazy. I think we had a Top Master in the one before that yeah, as we well. Yeah, we did. We're on quite the run. But as you can see, we still do need this kind of bingo lying down the side. That's because we've doubled up on quite a few like I said, we got the Harry Kane the other day. Yeah, so. but hopefully we'll get those soon and it will look absolutely fantastic once we do. I mean, imagine all that, all completely pink and just crazy. It'll be awesome. Yeah, so like I said, we are using these cards for our prediction videos for the England matches during the World Cup. So if you have missed any of those, go check them out in the iCard. Let's continue on through the binder with the rookies and the legends, these fantastic purple inserts. Yeah, that is a crazy purple, awesome. isn't it? We keep getting the Ronaldo for some reason, don't we? Yeah, we've had it in both prediction videos, actually, speaking yeah. of those. Yeah, we have, haven't we? So, yeah. <laughs> It's quite a few needed there, but Messi got, Ronaldo got. You can't complain too much, can you? But fantastic looking purple cards, I think. So onto the teams. So it's nine cards per team with the badge in the center. That's because not all of the team features here. Some of the team are in the insert section. So it's only part of the team. So if you see someone missing, it's probably likely that there'll be an insert somewhere later in the binder. But there's Argentina done. Belgium, we need the badge. I think we need quite a few badges, don't we? need a lot of badges, we? yes. Look at that, that nice awesome. double page. Look at those colours as well. Incredible. Oh, it's one needed oh. actually down there. <laughs> so there's, yeah, a, there's a double page. We did it in the end. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a few needed. England's done. France, I don't know what's happening with France. France is terrible. It's almost gone as a loser. Uh, so and Bepe cool. got... <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's the old kits as well, because this was this was made quite a while ago, wasn't it? I don't yes. think the kits were out. So. It was released before the stickers by a good couple of months. So. Yeah, so we'll go through the teams. Awesome stuff. Awesome World Cup so far, isn't it? Yeah. Got a few upsets. Fantastic. Yes, love it. There's, there's Ronaldo and Portugal done. Are they one of the contenders to win the whole thing? Ooh, that's a good I'm question. Sure. Who do you think is going to win? Sure. Let us know down in the comments. Spain look good, don't they? They do. I did think Brazil originally, but seeing Spain, maybe yeah. Spain. Spain, like you said, in the stickers. Maybe. And there's Uruguay and the USA to end. So they are alphabetical. 
and then we got on to the fans favorites so this is the inserts with the most cards they're the hardest thing to find we keep doubling up it's a theme it's a theme we it's get unlucky we're getting unlucky <laughs> so we need quite a few four on that page remarkably four but they do look nice don't they, they nice do. orange nice orange color and that sort of i don't know what you call it a window design kind of thing that's the theme throughout so there we go as i said quite a few of those before we get on to the power cards so these are awesome the titans we have here everything's got 18 i think these have a shard hollow in the back i don't think it's showing up too much maybe take a look at it a little bit but there's the titans all the way to there we still need a few magicians then the gold machines these are fantastic some of the players that feature in here yeah are what amazing. A subset. it is a fantastic subset isn't it my favorite part of the album maybe okay then we go to top keepers so as i said some of these keepers wouldn't have been in the teams but they do feature here we need this one here i can't remember who it is at the moment but yeah nine inserts for those game changers my personal favorite saka features here a double page here jacker as well awesome Good stuff yeah awesome <laughs> awesome insert i think yeah nice and gold right that's it what feels like. nice to pull doesn't it, it that's, does. that's important it does feel nice. okay then we have the contenders so as i said the card collection was made quite a while ago so these are all the playoff teams so some didn't make it so obviously australia and costa rica did make it yes. and we have the team kind of celebration in the middle instead of the badge so australia costa rica but we have a problem because we have a gap so the last costa rica one is numbered in the collection to 441 we go to peru 451 it's not that we're not getting them this was supposed to be new zealand but for some sort of reason i think it's to do with licenses the cards were never made but because of the collection numbering we have to leave a gap yeah and we wasn't sure if they would be released in some kind of way maybe the we rights would get sorted out and they would be released afterwards so we did leave the gap We'll probably wait until after the World Cup, but maybe, maybe we'll close it off. I don't know. It's no, I think we have to leave the gap. Like I said, the, num the collection numbers, it is, yeah, it's, it's, it's irritating, it's isn't irritating. it? We don't like gaps. <laughs> the next team, Peru. So that is quite interesting, though, to, to realise when you look back, maybe in a year or two, what's going on there? And then you realise, oh, it is quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's fun. Okay, Scotland <laughs> didn't make it. UAE didn't make it either. Like I said, these are all the playoff teams. Ukraine didn't make it, but Wales, they did, but they're not doing too good, are they? So, no, and I hope they lose the next one. The nice, Sorry, no offence. <laughs> nice to feature all the playoff teams as well, I think. Nice little, they're not a full team as well, so nice little extra in the back of the binder. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, limited editions. So these are mostly just randomly in pack, right? Yeah, they're kind of completely random, which is why we need so many, but hopefully yeah. we'll be able to take a few more off soon. But again, fantastic sort of honeycomb holograph in the back yeah they're kind of like the diamonds from the premier league collection if you haven't seen the world cup ones that's kind of the that's kind of the deal it's really so nice. this is what we have there and then on to the next page of course we go on to the premium limited editions where we did get them all other than ronaldo yeah we can't the one, <laughs> the, probably the hardest one to get right we in did fact, open a full box and we didn't get him we doubled anything. up on a few and didn't get ronaldo it was painful yeah yeah so that leads on to the premium golds there are three of those they're guaranteed in every premium gold pack go pick that up if you haven't already it's awesome you get the coin code as well and then these two here we got these from our world cup sticker advent calendar it came with the two cards they're exclusive to those ronaldo and neymar what a way to put that at the end of the binder what a way to finish the yeah, binder it's a little bit of a consolation prize and not have that premium ronaldo as well yeah. so and a nice inclusion nice. with the stickers i like the mixed products like that but yeah. there we go that is the world cup card binder let's get into the next one Okay, next up we have the Tops Champions League sticker album. So we haven't shown this one for quite a while and it has changed a lot. So let's take a look. Yeah, there's some updates in there from the update box. As well, yeah. So there we go. There's the three first page stickers. We do have it now complete. Again, I would love to see a bit of shine on there. I'm not, yeah. It has to happen, right? It Imagine that's a nice silver. It would look really cool. Okay, so then going in to the team of the season. I think we had this complete last time that we showed it. So that's fine, there we go. And we have the women's standout performers. Then onto the teams, we have AC Milan, there we go. We have completed quite a few now. Yeah, we've done quite a few teams now. Would you find this interest more interesting as a collection if it was branded as Match Attack? Maybe this would be Match Attack sticker collection, eh? That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? You could have 100 clubs, you could have all sorts of good stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, so there we go, another complete team there. Most are actually complete now, actually, to be honest. We're doing really well. I think we need like 20 stickers or something. It's crazy, we've opened quite a lot of parallel packs. 
which does come with a lot of stickers as well so that's how we've managed to do yeah, it obviously the parallels are not stuck in they're separate from here which are stuck in the base ones yep okay the shinies, rouge, there course. we go a nice run of completed teams here we needed Ooh. a few of those didn't we yeah we did a while back but we've got we've got quite a lot now we've got most of them yeah Barca. so all good just need the one there for barcelona we need loads of barcelona actually didn't we so that's awesome okay we there we go quite a lot off recently yeah, it's kind of just an odd one here and there, really. I don't remember there being a necessarily bad team. Yeah, as it yeah. is, we are juggling a lot of collections at once. We kind of have to prioritise one over others. So this is one that took, took the back seat for a while, wouldn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. So, I don't know, we might just use the complete old, um, binder service well, to get the rest, because maybe. Because the World Cup came on and the Champions League ended sooner than normal, is that right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's kind of on pause, isn't it? Yeah, it's on pause. <laughs> I mean, Everything's on pause. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. Just the one there for Real Madrid. Complete again for Seville. Nice. Again, that yeah, sticker that is there too. brutal. Two for that one. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> completed. Sporting. There you go. Tottenham. Lloris. Not yeah, cool. Yeah. Not cool, Lloris. What are you doing? Yeah, but one thing to say about this album is that the pages are fantastic, aren't they? I mean, look at that. Yeah, I absolutely love this double page. It's, of course, the worldies. We get a lot of worldies in packs, but we're not hitting the ones we need. Yes. What's going on? Some of these are interesting stick with them being wonky. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite fun. It's a good page. I love it. Good stuff. And that one is awesome as well. Okay, then we go on to the best of the best. The back of this album is actually amazing. There we go. So we need two there. I think we've got the rest from this point. Oh, no. There's another one. <laughs> okay. Also, we're not doing the best of the best. No, we're selling it. I'm, it's not my fault. Then we have the all-time records again. Some fantastic stickers in here. Good stuff. Getting to the best there page. There we go. Yeah, we are. Okay, it's not this one. It's the dream, dream Team. team. We, so we obviously we haven't done that we yet. Haven't done that. Look at that. Look at that page. That looks absolutely awesome. We completed this very, very early as well. It's just absolutely amazing, isn't Should it? Should it be more full or would that take away from the graphic in the back? No, I think that's perfectly fine. Because I think too many legends. They're the legends, yeah. It's not good. Arsenal in there next year. Yes, let's hope so, eh? I love the manager as well. That's yeah, cool. awesome. Okay, and then we have some women's stickers here, the women's trophy as well. And we go on to the update, which we haven't actually shown you stuck in yeah, yet. So there, there's the information about it in your album, and then after that, that's where the update stickers are, of course. Okay. New signing. We start with the new signings, and this page is actually amazing once you've got some stickers in it. Look at that crazy yellow. All shiny. It's so cool. Yeah, all the new signings are shiny. As you can see, it's got like kind of a hollow to it. Really, really nice. Yeah, so if you do want to complete your album, if you are collecting this, you need to be picking up the update box. Yeah, as you see, it's exclusive to the Tops.com website, so that's where you need to go for that. Okay, and then we go on to the playoff ones, yeah, which is also teams. included in the update box. You actually get 116 stickers for £10, which is... Yeah, pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty incredible, yeah. So we just stick all of these in. There's quite a nice little stick as well. Quite easy, really. There you go. Uh, all are guaranteed. You get them all. Every box is the same. And it does look amazing once you've got it completed. Of course, range is there as well. And that is it, apart from the one the random one at the end, as you can see up here. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. That Lucky. is the total craziness of this quite a massive sticker album. Yeah, there is a side sticker album that comes with this for the live stickers. They'll be released for in real life match moments. None have been released yet, so we haven't included it yet because it is empty but that will get filled i imagine for the knockout stages of yeah, the champions league i think league. the first set comes out in december obviously with the world cup everything is a little bit later than it normally would be yeah last year it was part of the album and i think a few people got frustrated and not being able to complete their collection so this time they've separated it out much better much more inclusive to if you want to complete it early or if you want to carry on collecting it you can choose to do it either way there we go that's the album let's get into the next one Next up, we have our Panini Premier League score 2021-22 collector's binder. So this was a brand new collection for the Premier League, which was released for last season. There was a little bit of a delay on it, so it was released this season, but it was very, very awesome. It's kind of what we'd call a mid-level product, so something in between retail and hobby, similar to Match Touch Chrome on that level, but score, brand new thing. And we did go for the base set, that's what we did. So this album was made by us, we just got an old Adrenaline XL album, printed that out and made the album. There wasn't an album for it, I think there was a Serie A collection that released that did have an album, but for the Premier League it didn't. So like I said, our goal was to complete the base cards. Look how fantastic they are. Yeah, they're absolutely awesome. It's got a nice kind of holographic detail on the score bit, nice little texture. 
Just a really cool card, isn't it? I think yeah. it was a UK exclusive as well, which is really awesome. Yeah, and it's one of the few collections we haven't gone back to back because there's a little bit of information on the back of the card. It is pretty awesome. As I did say, this was brand new for the Premier League last season, so it'd be interesting to see if they do it again. We do know there is a Donruss Elite collection that is supposed to be released in very, very soon. We have got that on pre-order, but interesting to see if Score gets released as well because I think the initial release date was January, so they will be interesting to take a look at. So, Teams in Random Orders, which, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's quite random, isn't it? But there is, as I said, there is a collection number. You can take a look on the back there. But, yeah, really awesome, I think. Really nice in-action shot. Yeah, it's quite place. a nice smart collection, isn't it? It's clean and smart. Yeah, nice. I, I hope they do do it again, because to have the Donruss Elite and the score, I just think that would make for an amazing Premier League season, wouldn't it? It would. Cle more collections, the better. That's what we say. Now we're going to Norwich. As I did say, it was last season's Premier League teams. So there we go. We, and our main target was the base, which we did get complete. But we have put a few inserts in there. One thing we haven't put in here is our parallels and our numbered stuff. And we did get an autograph, actually. We did, so yeah. So we haven't stuff. got that in here. Yeah, they don't fit when you go back. Uh, not back to back. So there Good we go. Times. Crystal Palace. And coming towards the end, where we have Arsenal at the end. Arsenal's an A, man. A. Get a. it out of the beginning. <laughs> Learn your alphabets. Why are we at the end? So as I did say, there's the end of the base. And then we just left left the page to go into the inserts. And we'll go through them. There's the base complete. That's what we wanted to do. I think we got a retail box and a fat box. So we opened two boxes. Yeah. That, did it was it. that was easy. I think the fat box would have done it by itself. Yeah. <laughs> so all hands team. That's the keepers, obviously. Breakthroughs. We love those. Yeah, they're so cool, aren't they? Look at that design. It seems like such a long time ago does, since we opened it? this. So there's some more breakthroughs. Hot rookies down here. And continuing there. Then the next levels. A bit of stats on there. So Rodri had 2,785 passes. Good to know. Nice stat. Good to know. And then the score team. <laughs> like I said on there. That team's completely different, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't and it? And some more score teams. So, like I said, we didn't include our parallels or numbered hits. But, well, just for example, we did get this Ronaldo, which is numbered to 99 in orange. That's kind of what they look like. Kind of an awesome hit there. I think that's one of our best ones, other than the auto. Yeah, the autograph was really cool. Did not see that one coming. It was awesome. Yeah, so let us know in the comments. Do you want to see score release again? And did you collect it? But there we go. That is the score binder. Let's get into the next binder. Okay, next up we have the Match Attacks Chrome 2021-22 collection. And we absolutely love this collection. As you can see, it is in this really nice premium Ultra Pro binder. Really nice and padded. So let's take a look at what we managed to get. So all of these cards we did pull ourselves. We haven't bought any. You can't wait for the new season of Match Attacks Chrome. It's supposed to be released. And it I know, isn't released. right. Release it. We want it's to buy it. Probably <laughs> our favourite thing to collect, I'd say. Yeah, super duper fun. Okay, so like I said, it's the 21-22 season. So it is that design. Good yeah. stuff. Nice little throwback, isn't it? We have the previews for this year, but not uh, the full thing. Give us the proper stuff. I want to see those parallels. Okay, so there we go. So, like I said, we'll probably need to buy some of these soon. I do want to get this complete. We need the one there. Or we'll open more. Or we'll open more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need a Tottenham one there. And what's that? PS uh, PSG, PSG yeah. one, yeah. Okay, and then there's a couple more there. I we think need. we had six boxes of this, so to not get the base done is a little bit unlucky. Yeah, it was quite unfortunate. For and, us. and some of these cards, like the Halland there, there were different play opposed to the actual base yes, card. So that's, which was really cool. Yeah, an image variation if you like. It was good stuff. Okay, so there we go. Go on to the rest of the base. Let us know how excited you are for the new Match Attacks Chrome. I, can't, I just can't wait. Okay, there we go. We need two there. Yeah, look out for lots of openings on that coming to our channel, hopefully, very soon. Hopefully very soon, yes. Okay, coming to the end of the base now, we have these super signings, starting at the Grealish. Then we go all the way through there onto the next gens. And then we have the Man of the Matches, which was absolutely incredible in Chrome. But we have 100 clubs as well. I don't think we had that in the one Last before season that. it wasn't, no. This was the first time they had 100 clubs in the Champions League Chrome. So that did mean that you could get a 100 club in an absolutely fantastic parallel colour. They was amazing. We did manage to get one. You'll see it soon. Okay, then we did have some Legends as well, which weren't actually part of the sort of main collection. I think maybe the extra or something. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you remember. But look how amazing they look, man. So good. Yeah, this was our first look at them, basically, when we yeah. got the Match Tax Chrome collection. It was good stuff. Okay, yeah. then we go on to refractors. As you can see, it's got kind of a rainbow 
Yeah, a bit more rarer. Four. One in three packs, I think it was. Or one in two. Yeah, we've got quite a few of those. Nice 100 club one there. And some man of the match ones, too, actually. 200 clubs, nice. Look at that messy. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, then we have the Speckle. X Factors. The Speckle this year, what's it called? Speckle, was it? Okay, cool. Good stuff. We got a lot of Bowens. You'll see we a theme. So look, Bowen Speckle. We did nearly start collecting a rainbow of Bowens. That happened. Yeah, <laughs> what we decided to do is if we find the one out of one Bowen, we'll go for the rest. Yeah, that, that's basically Bowen. the rule. Okay, so then we go on to the purples. Bowen. There's a Bowen, yes. <laughs> purple Bowen tick. So we had some nice stuff actually in there. Nice yeah, Even the look. purple. So these are the most common parallel. And look at the colour pop. It's just yes, insane. It is amazing. It's a number to 199, I think. Or is it 299? 299. Yeah, 299. Don't, don't hold us to that. I think it's It's that. on the back. It is, yes. Okay, pinks. then we go on to the pinks. There's another Bowen. What? The first time we had pinks? Harry Kane was an option too, but we thought it might be that nah. too expensive. Nah, and nah. He's, oh, he was never an option. <laughs> okay, Bowen nice was the only option. Maldini there. And Ronaldo. Yeah, super signed. That's some really nice pools. Good that. stuff. Yeah, pinks. Good yeah, stuff. I kind of forget the numbering because yeah, it was a while ago. It was a while, wasn't it? Okay, and then we go on to this kind of turquoise. Aqua. Aqua, wasn't it? There's yeah. a lot of added colours this this time round. There's one of them. We have greens, which when you put them next to each other, you can easily tell the difference, but a little bit of confusion in packs, let's be honest. Well, they okay. neon, neon and aqua. Neon and aqua, yeah. That's Bowen. It, Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> we got so many Bowens. Okay, so then we go on to the rarest stuff. So we have our gold, yellows. Yeah. And then we have a gold Ibrahimovic there. The nice stuff. Some Two oranges. And our best four was the black Benucci. Yeah, black number to five. Which is really, really cool. Really awesome We didn't awesome get stuff. a red here, um, but, no. and we didn't get an autograph either this time. Last year we did, and that's our, we like to aim for that every time. That's why we pick up six boxes. I think there were one in ten, maybe, or one in eight. Yeah, I think it was something like them. that. Yeah. We had an absolute blast opening this collection. Like we said, let us know how excited are you for the brand new Match Attacks Chrome to release. We cannot wait. We cannot wait at all. So let's crack into the next binder. Okay, so following on from the Match Attacks Champions League Chrome, here we have the Match Attacks Bundesliga Chrome in this brilliant red album because the box was kind of red, wasn't it? Red yeah. and blue. We went green last time, now we've gone red. So let's get into it then. We didn't open too much, so it isn't that full, but there's some nice stuff in here that is worth a show. So look at that. First page, nice chrominess to it. Bundesliga collection had a really nice design, didn't it? Almost like a paint effect. Yes. It was a nice collection, this one. It was. It was very nice, actually. I did enjoy it, but like I said, we didn't buy too much of it. So that's probably our best page, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Take a look at that. I appreciate it. <laughs> and this obviously is the last season, so Halland is still in it, as well as Bellingham, of course. So some nice stuff in here. Nice stuff to go after. But yes. just not as popular as the Champions League Chrome, is it? No. So go on to this fantastic comic book kind of design with the heroes of tomorrow. We, we did love those. That. It was yeah. good stuff, wasn't it? Lots of those. And then we have the star players, which have a signature style on them this time around, which is, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? it and looks the star really as well. Good. Yeah. So then we go through that up to there. And then the circle of the best with the gold, silver, bronze kind of design. Not like the limited editions, but it's still there. Yeah, it's kind of like a ranking of the sort of award level, yeah. if you like. This one being the different order to the rest, was it? Yeah, well, there was one that was different and it was quite frustrating, but it's, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. Well, yeah, because yeah. Helen's there, the gold's yeah. that way. That's okay, and that no problem. Yeah, because there's two bronzes <laughs> next to each other. Okay, then we go on to the match winners. Like I said, there are lots of gaps, but 100 clubs, we've got them all, I think. Helen's there, and the 101 Lewandowski. And some legends as well. I think there's a, I think there's four of those. So I think we still yeah, do need one. I think we one. need the one. But, but look at them. Fantastic. They're so awesome. Yeah. I think they're very similar designs actually this season, which is just, if it ain't broke, if don't it fix it. it. It's Exa a classic. Exactly what I was going to say. So then on to the refractors. We have quite a lot of those. Nice legend refractor legend there. Legend there, yeah. Of course. Of course. And then some more refractors of this star player with the signature on it. The speckle. A few of those. And the purples. So there we go, purples. Awesome start, 100 club purple, not bad. Good stuff, A few stuff, golds right? here, a few golds here and there. Good stuff. Yeah, actually, stuff. all those are gold that we've got. Yeah, nice. I did kind of want to collect all them. I think it looks incredible. Maybe we will, maybe we will. Maybe. So blues, <laughs> with some heroes of tomorrow and star players. And then greens with the legend. I mean, Good look stuff. at that. That looks awesome, doesn't it? It's because green doesn't feature as the colour on yeah. the actual card, so then the green special. border. It looks special. You're man. adding a colour. You're adding a colour to a colourful card. Yes. Excellent. So <laughs> here we go. Look at this. Gold. Two golds. An orange. And finally, we finally pulled a red. 
So from all the Chrome collections that we've opened, we never pulled red. We got two. We got two from this one. number two, is it ten, I think? I think so. I'm not sure. It's yeah, something, it's something it's low. Good. It's good. We've never pulled a red, two reds. But we did get an autograph from here somewhere. It's in that autograph collection, if you want to go check that out. And again, we're looking forward to taking a look at this for this season, aren't we? So we are, yes. that should release a little bit later than the Champions League one. So lots of things to look out for this season. But there we go. There is the Bundesliga Chrome binder. On to the next one. Next up, we have the Panini Women's Euro England 2022 collection. We had an absolute blast with this. We watched every single match. It was good stuff, wasn't it? And of course, England went on to win. We did. It was good. It was enjoyable for once. Okay, so there we go. We have the first pages nice and shiny. We have the mascots here. Yeah. Really cool. This was actually the first women's collection we've collected, so that was quite nice. It was, yeah. We, we actually it. really enjoyed yeah. it. And if it wasn't for the train strikes, we would have been at one of the England matches. Yeah, we had a ticket bought. <sighs> it was painful. Okay, so... And we had, we had to lose money on it, basically. There we go. We were going to Sheffield. We were going to the Sheffield um, one. The trains got cancelled. And... Yes. Ruined it for ruined us. Ruined it. Ruined it. Been Not a problem cool. for us all year, hasn't it? It has. Okay, so there we go. That is all the sort Different of host video. cities. <laughs> we need Southampton. We do still need a couple. I don't know. Maybe we'll pick them up at some point. But we did just enjoy opening it while it was on. Yeah, and we opened packs with the final as well. So that was pretty awesome. Then we have all of the team stickers in all the various groups. And there we go. There's the winning England's team. Minus two and Anne Scott. Yeah. And, and Mead. Where's, is Mead in here? Mead's yeah. In here. Chloe yeah, Kelly isn't, isn't in here. Yeah, that's it is. She's not made it. She scored the winning goal, of course. Good stuff. So, yeah. Yes. What a team then, right? Decent, right? Take a look at that. I appreciate that. Good times. Harness the winningness. Yeah. Can the men <laughs> copy what the women did? I guess, and go it? on to win. What a year that would be for English football, We right? made the final, though. The Euro final. If England had beat Italy, England ah. men beat Italy, Euro winners. At Wembley, England women, Euro winners at Wembley. We would literally be the champions of Europe right now. Yeah. You let us down, man. You let's let us conquer down. the world okay. next. <laughs> so, let's go through the rest of the teams kind of quickly. Yeah. Here we go. I, I think maybe one or two are complete, but they aren't all complete. But there's an interesting thing with Portugal that Yes, happened, okay. So. Just the one there for Germany. We didn't want to get that one so badly. We're just going to get it. I need a shiny there for Denmark. There we go, there's the spec. We need the shine. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Oh, okay, it was just my angle, that's good. Just need the <laughs> one, that's good stuff. Okay, nice Spain team there. There we go, Finland. I don't know if we did complete a team now, actually, thinking about it. I think we just well, was one like one away. Complete. Is it? Okay, cool. And I will say about the Portugal team when we get there. So here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Portugal team, it wasn't featured in packs. You couldn't get any of these stickers in the packs. That's because the team that was supposed to originally be here was kicked out, and Portugal came as an update pack. The team name and everything wasn't even in the album. Yeah, so this is a sticker. This is a sticker. That's a sticker that's not shiny. That's unfortunate. I think even... What else was a, a sticker? All sorts of things are stickers. <laughs> I think this was a sticker. Stuff in the sort of um, the teams. Oh, yeah. The Go back to it. Yeah. Okay, where is it? Portugal. Yeah, All this is stickers too. Yeah. Which is really cool. It was a fun little thing to so stick, actually, was a whole actually, update thing. That's a good way to do an Just update. Just not the shiny badge, which it yeah, should be shiny. No, it's okay. It's inconsistent. It's okay. We will take it. Okay, so then going on to the rest of the ones that we haven't completed that we actually had to work on ourselves, except for the <laughs> There we go, Switzerland. But we didn't get it, we didn't miss it. So oh, yeah. That's good, okay, it? then we have France. And Italy. Coming to the end now. Belgium. We're so close on so many. But then we have Iceland. Is that the, is that the end? That's the end, I think. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. That is all of the women's Euros. What a nice little throwback to the summer. Yeah, let us know Sometimes. if you watched it. Where were you? What were you doing Where were you when final? we won? That is yeah. the question that you need to answer in the comments. But let's crank to the next album. Next up, we have the Topps Road to Nations League final sticker collection. And this is the first ever Nations League collection. That's because Topps have now acquired the UEFA license. So Panini still have the FIFA license for the World Cup, etc. But Tops have the UEFA license in full, so that's Champions League and the Euros now, and also the Nations League. So this mirrored the 101 collection, didn't it? It did, Which was yeah. also Road to Nations League, but it was really interesting. So here's the first page, all, all done. We've completed the collection. Nice, shiny nice, first shiny. page, as you're talking about. Look at that red, it's fantastic, good stuff. And then we had all the teams, the groups set out in these cuts, sign of double stickers. I think France wasn't one and the rest were. So you got two on each. Yeah, sticker, kind of a half you? sticker. Yeah. yeah. So we got all them, of course. They were quite interesting. And all the teams feature. 
that was in the actual tournament. So yeah, because it was nice. the row two. So all the group stages that happened, which is now done, yeah. they all featured. Here we go. So France sticker for the current champions. That Good was stuff, a nice yeah. one. And then we go on to what not is teams, it's actually sections. So this didn't have teams, but goalkeepers as a section. That's because, of course, like I just said, all the teams are featured. So if you should do those as full teams, then that would just be one hefty album, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would probably need like three different albums. It would be absolutely crazy. So we wasn't sure about this at first, but we, it grew on us and I actually think it is a better way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, I like that there's so many different teams featured that would not be featured in any other collection. Yeah. It's just a nice, inclusive Every team has stickers. a sticker. Every team has a sticker, which yes. is nice. So yeah, goal getters. It's quite interesting because I think this spot here, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's multi shiny sometimes uh, it's, oh, it's crazy. Although Tops did get the UEFA license, they still haven't got some of the kit licenses. So that was the only downside to the France, England, all in the ghost shirts. But it's not too much of a problem. It didn't ruin the collection or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, nice Haaland nice. sticker there, of course. Yeah. Not in the World Cup, so not many stickers you can get with Haaland. Haaland and Ronaldo. Yeah, good And there. Good there. So goal getters, no, is it X Factors? Sorry. The uh, camera was in the way there. Technicians are next. Although it's this side, look, so I said that side, it's this side that doesn't have the spot where the sticker is. That's what I was mentioning earlier. So one less for the technicians. And then dribbler. Yeah, so I prefer this. What do you think? Yeah, I quite like it. I think some of the categories maybe are named a little bit unusually, <laughs> but other than that. Number six. Number two. <laughs> yeah, four, uh, two, four, and eight. None of them are six. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. that's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> Holding midfielders. Jacker there, Jacker there, Jacker everywhere. Good stuff. The playmakers, stuff. De Bruyne, number two, and he has a silver position. Hoiberg, gold. Yeah, I kind of wish they was like actually gold, silver, and bronze stickers. Yeah. That would have been really cool. Yeah, it had a little border on it or something. It would yeah. have added a different hollow sticker as well. Yeah, it would. Would have been really fun in the packs as well. It would have done, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would have been at something extra. Old but gold. Make all these gold now. <laughs> <laughs> and these awesome things. Look at this. Kit stickers. Yeah. All this was a sticker. The shape we have here was a sticker. So It was crazy. And it was quite nice to stick, actually, though, to be honest. Yeah. It and was again, well we have every team. So to get a look at all the team's kits, which maybe you won't normally see in other circumstances, was pretty awesome. Just a shame it? of the ghost shirts. It's yeah, unfortunate. That is it, shirts isn't it? Than this ghost shirts. That's quite unlucky. Yeah, I don't think that was the plan, was it? So, it's yeah. okay. Wales to end the shirt section. Uh, was that it? Or was the one in the back? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Actually. Yeah, there's oh, some yeah, of that. So one. there we go. That's what I was talking about. The 101 collection for the match attacks was the same category at the Road to Nations League. So they had a whole theme on it. So they went together. So Dream Team, once again, we haven't stuck in. But I mean, you would put some big ones in there, wouldn't you? You would, yeah. All Arsenal. <laughs> Just an <the> Arsenal <laughs> team, yeah. Okay. That's a dream. It was the facts and data. So the first uh, match... Yes. And just the group the group sticker, which is a double sticker. Yeah, I love a good puzzle that you can sticker. The first stuff. winners, first players, most minutes, all sorts of awesome stuff. All the records. England this time haven't made the finals. Oh, we're out we were already. terrible. Italy are in there. Oh boy. <laughs> We were actually terrible, weren't we? We were terrible. We was. It wasn't good. It was oh, uh, okay. it was a bad build up to the World Cup. But it doesn't seem to be that much of a problem. So there we go. That's the Road to Nations League final sticker collection. Let's get into the next binder. Okay, next up we have the Match Attacks 101 Road to the Nations League finals. So similar with the stickers, you do get all the teams from the Nations League. But like we said, it is the 101 collection. So that does mean we start with the customary 101 countdown. Starting with the 100 clubs, so we have the 101 Lewandowski, yeah, the first one. page is all 100 clubs. So we do kind of wish these had like a different design, even just a different sort of colour or maybe a different hollow pattern. Yeah, they're too similar to the next lot of inserts, aren't they? We've seen, we watched a few videos, didn't we, where people were getting 100 clubs and they wasn't just bo weren't bothered. They didn't actually weren't notice, bothered. they need to be more special, we need to feel like you've pulled something special yeah. from the packs. Okay, so there we go, there we go, there's the index number there that you can see, and we have the top 10 being the 100 clubs, like I said. Let me carry on through the index of the best 101 players. It's, as you can see, very similar, apart from the background a little bit, very similar to the rest. Yes, 199. Not 100 club, man. Unlucky. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. There's so the close. rest. We have kind of a mirror foil hollow up until a certain point, it's and then 30, we go on to just the base. 50, yes. There yeah. we go. Like I said, though, you do have a lot of teams in here and a lot of players that would not normally get a card. Well, Saka didn't get one. Well, yeah. Okay. Wow. You have some that should have a card, but some... I'm still fuming. <laughs> it's just really nice to have them featured. 
Yeah, it is. So, I really love it. Odegaard's okay, so there, there 98. Then the final of the countdown comes to here. Then we have the international stars. Got the really cool flag in the background. Love these. Great design. So these are players that didn't make the top 100, but still feature predominantly for their country. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. England and Wales there. And again, unfortunately, some don't have the correct kits. They have the ghost kits. But I'd sooner have them in there, even if they are yeah. the ghost kits. It's better to have them than not to have them, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so there we go. Coming on to some more interesting teams here. Good stuff. Love it. And then we go on to the inserts over here with the young player to watch. Yeah, so if you watched our openings on this, you would have seen it took us quite a while to find Smith Rowe. Yeah, but it was then, so once bad. Once we got one, we got a few, didn't we? He was like a boss, wasn't he? And we Good filled stuff. this gap at the bottom, all the title cards. We because, love a title yeah, card. We're supposed to put one there, we've put three. It was a gap. We had title yeah. cards spare. You do the maths of why that's going to happen. Okay, okay so then we go into the limited editions. Yeah, Holland and... was in the starter pack. Yeah, I think the rest are just completely yeah, random. Random, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure because if it was remember, we we opened. I think it was all the tins, and we kept getting the same ones. Oh yeah. So that's why we needed. We do three. need some still. Three, I think oh, it is. Not cool. Is it three? It's two. Just two. Ah. Yeah, and then we do have the ones from um, the, the tins. tins. Yes, so they were the exclusive ones. Yes. We got those in abundance. We did. We did get the a lot next of those. was an interesting limited edition, the Homegrown Heroes. So these were exclusive in starter packs. They came with the Halland, but each one was exclusive to the area of where the, the country they played for. So we actually got a Scottish one in England. Yeah, that, that was, was a bit our first of error. one. So we had to go to a different shop to get um, the Bellingham. We got the England one. And so we decided, why not? We'll leave a gap. I think there's 12 maybe or something like that. Yeah. So we didn't actually do it, did we? <laughs> we didn't, unfortunately. But I, I would say I do like the idea of an international collection having the sort of exclusives, but maybe they could bring out a product where you kind of, you could get them in different countries as well. So you can collect them still, but they're still super rare. Yeah. Well, so why it's really it hard to get, yeah. It would be cool to have them all. As yeah, a nice maybe picture. they could do like in the other countries. So the England one, guaranteed in England, but every maybe five, you got a chance to get a different one. Yeah, or so. maybe just a, like a little eco pack and get one random one. I don't know. Just I don't know. It's a nice. I like them being exclusive. Yeah, I do. Pack, I do though. like that. Prem yes. Shields. We get the same ones. We got four the Youngs, <laughs> yes. four the Youngs, and we need all these. We now we got like three times as well. The only one we haven't doubled up on. <laughs> It's Ronaldo, which is... But how unlucky is that with the amount we need? It was so frustrating, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong. I don't think there's as many. It is a smaller collection, but De Jong. Oh, yeah. He angers me still. Turn it. Today. Turn it, let's <laughs> move. Okay, then we were planning to collect all of the 100 clubs in parallels. As you can see, we've laid them out. I don't know, we might have one or two somewhere else, but like we said, we are currently moving stuff, so yeah, unfortunately... Parallels are the thing. It's the main collection we've put in the binders. We put that yes. away straight away. Basically, yeah. Parallels. There might Spot be one or later. two. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. is hidden away now. Okay, so we did have different kind of rarities to the parallels here. So kind of had the 100 clubs as purples. And then as you went through the collection, you'd have different colours. So you have the green there, as you can see. Title card in green though, man. Love Excellent. it. Excellent. Good stuff. That was my favourite. That's why it's gone in the middle. Good times. Good times. Okay, so then we have lots more greens. Yeah, and obviously these were different rarity in the packs as well. Crystal yes. being the most common one. I and think. then as it goes down, you have the crystals. Yeah, which do have the international stars. So there was a lot more crystals than anything else. Yeah, there were. But good stuff, right? Excellent stuff. Love it. <laughs> okay. I would have been a small collection. This was amazing to have in the packs. Something extra to chase. It was yeah. quite, we got the collection done reasonably quickly, right? We did, yeah. And having the crystals as well in here, it did mean that those kind of more obscure players that you wouldn't normally find in a collection, they did have a nice, rare, slightly rarer card as well. Yes, so that was good. Is, yes. Everything was good about this collection. I liked it. It was a really, really fun collection. But there we go. There it is. There's our binder. So let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Panini Premier League 2022 sticker album, and we have it in this fantastic hardback album, and it is complete. So we have the complete Premier League sticker collection in a hardback album. That is pretty awesome. So let's get in straight into it with the trophy and the ball, of course, and a nice contents page. Big... Big album this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a really, really big album. Really nice. We did complete it actually quite easily, which was, I yeah. don't know, a little disappointing, but then also quite awesome at the same time. There was a mega box, wasn't there? 150 packs, I think it was. Yes. So on to Arsenal. There we go. First in the album, as they should. And complete, of course. It is yep. quite a different team now. We do have the really cool gold badge. Yeah, awesome stuff. Really nice texture. And the team, and the up team there. sticker up there, yes. Yes. So then the second page for Arsenal with the the um, elite and the star signings 
and the duo of agile attackers we have there. I think yeah. each duo is different. And then squad players that didn't get a sticker feature in there. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. The cool thing about this collection was that every single team did have an elite, which the one before that didn't. So yeah. It was a nice little feature. Yeah. We, we tried to get them all in one video, I think. We did manage it. We did, yeah. It was good times. So, of course, looking forward to the this season's sticker collection. It does normally release in December. Which is very soon. Very, very soon, so yes. Maybe maybe straight after the World Cup we will get the Premier League stickers. So that's going to be awesome, isn't it? The, the albums are interesting to look at themselves, even before we see the stickers. So, very excited. This one, yeah, like we said, we got it done quite quick, but we did still open packs after that. I think we tried to fill the, the soft back album, or the soft cover album, with a few of our openings. But this is the complete one. This is the one we're showing. Yeah, there's just so much going on with each page, isn't there? Yeah. So much to look at. It's been a while since we looked at it, actually, and it does. it is awesome that we get to look at it now, showing you this. One thing that we did find quite funny is the managers, they kept changing, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? So, yeah. Through Leeds and Leicester. Maybe we won't see them in this next one. Who knows? <laughs> there could be a sticker. Then if they change, you could, I don't know, maybe you could stick over it. Maybe it's sticker shaped. So stat, stat central in the middle here with a few like of each team's stats. So each team has a different stat, right? Yeah, That's what it, it is, was cool. It? Yeah. So there we go through that. And then there's some legends. What a page that is. Henry, first legend. Uh, the legend pages are always nice, aren't they? They are, as Absolutely they should awesome. be. I just love Legends featuring in a collection. And then the Next Gens, which also was nice. And that's in the middle of the album, though. Maybe that could be at the back. It does interrupt uh, the team flow a little bit. I don't know. It kind of replaced where the Elite stickers were in the previous yeah. season. So I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's okay. I, I think it'll be better at the back. You have a nice team flow through, and then you get to the other stuff. So it'll be all teams. That's how I, I would prefer it. But do let us know. In the comments, if you would change that, I mean, it's not here. It's neither here or there, really, is it? But just those little tweaks, maybe we can see going to the next collection. Either way, fantastic collection. Yeah, like we said, we got it complete. We didn't complete last seasons before this. I mean, obviously this is last seasons, but the last season before this. No, maybe in a future retro rips, maybe we'll go back and yeah. rip some when it's retro, eh? Well, we got this done. <laughs> we we really wanted to go for it with this one, so getting it done early was uh, a shame because we want we had a lot of openings planned but here we go yeah. coming towards the end now Watford no longer there West Ham and I think at the back there was the transfers as well so we'll get to that as well these pages are stuck together Wolves there so the transfer updates was it in the back yeah bit, bit everything stuck together here we go then Daily Alley has made it in here <laughs> <laughs> it's Russell, quite funny now isn't it yeah, Ericsson back. when he was at Brentford so yeah, we'll we'll see. This is like the January transfer window, isn't it? So yeah, if they do release just after Christmas potentially with this season's one, you will still have the update to look forward to as well. Like I said before, lots of things still happening this season. It's quite crazy. And then the completion sticker to round things off nicely. Yes. We love that. Last time we had that, we. Yes. We uh, needed, needed, and now we've got, got, got. We could actually finally say we've got, got, got. It was great. Yeah, so there we go. That <laughs> is the end. And like I said, fantastic hardback album. Hopefully we get to get stuck into that with the hardback album this time around. But we did do another version of these stickers. So let's take a look at that with the next album. And that album is the Premier League 2022 Digital Sticker Collection. So this was a really cool addition to the Premier League sticker season. And it was a digital app where you got a code in every single pack that you opened and you got digital stickers. You had to try and complete the digital album. Then you could pay for it to be printed and sent to you. And you got this nice hardback kind of digital album, which is really, really awesome. Yeah, it's awesome that it's hardback as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's super duper cool. So okay. the only thing you had to pay for was the album itself. I mean, on the app, you could pay for coins to buy packs and stickers, but we just opened from our packs. And with the exclusive mega box that we opened, we did get an additional, I think it was 20 or so codes. Yes, yeah, so that was really, really helpful. I think we did buy a couple towards the end, so yeah, Ronaldo. it was quite cheap. Okay, so there we go. There's the first two stickers. As you can see, they don't come as actual stickers. It is printed in. So yeah. that does mean that we don't have any shine or anything like that. And they're, they're a little bit small, I think, to the... And there's a few the variations from the other album. The, the layout's different and some of the sticker designs are different as well. Yep. So then we go straight into the sort of contents page. Like I said, there won't be any shine. I think, again, these were smaller and yeah. slightly different. 
I think maybe it had more players on it. I'm not 100% sure. No, it didn't have more players. I think they come across two pages. That's what it was. Ah, okay. Okay, so then we go into Arsenal. Yeah, there so we go. So less players. So as you can see, the actual design of the sticker is completely different. And, and the layout there. as well. Yeah. It's quite cool though. It's a nice little difference. Always well, quite yeah. fun. The elite's over there, look. The elite up here. Yeah. And everything is a sort of slightly different kind of... It's just different, it's good. We did do a video comparing the two directly, so if you do want to see that, you can go check out in the yeah. iCast. As we said though, a minute ago with the last album, we did complete that quite early. So this was a, like a nice extension, a way for us to collect something different and get an album complete because you couldn't print it until it was complete. You had to complete it first. Yeah, it did make quite a fun challenge and it was quite enjoyable, wasn't it? A little bit of a nice bonus extra as well from opening the pack. Just a bit too. of fun, wasn't it, yeah. Okay, there we go, Burnley. When you've completed the main album, you know, and all you want to do is open packs. Give you a reason to open the packs, go after those codes, get those digital stickers. Yeah, Pretty I think, awesome stuff. I think there was like a daily pack as well that yeah. you could open. So yeah, free it was, pack. It was quite fun. It kept us busy for a little It'll bit. be back again this year, I would imagine. I would hope so, yeah. Okay, there we go. Everton. It's the same kind of idea, just yeah. slightly different, basically. Leeds, he still, he still made it in here. That's yeah. funny. I think one of them <laughs> is actually has a different manager. Actually, Maybe yeah. Villa, I think was it was it? one or two, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Leicester. We'll just going to through quite quickly because they are quite similar. So you did have the Stat Central in here as well. Yeah. I think they were all pretty yeah, much There's some the same. unique things out there in this album compared to the other one. But you don't have the Legends. You didn't get Legends in here. Yeah, no Legends. Okay, Liverpool. Go for it kind of quickly now. Here we go. And obviously no updates because we printed it before the update thing was released. Yeah, I think there was a lot of differences in the Elite design as well, which yeah, is quite cool. They are different in design. Yeah. Okay, there we go. On to Man United, Maguire. Newcastle, Norwich, and there we go, Southampton, coming to the end now. It was just a nice little addition to the collection, wasn't it? It Tottenham. was, yes. Conte might be the new one, actually, as well. Yeah, there was a couple, wasn't there? Okay, there we go. And West Ham being the final one. Is it? Pretty sure, is it? Oh, no, Wolves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wolves. I am so sorry. Okay, so Wolves is the final one. Yeah, like I said, no the update end. at the back. So there was that mega box, the 150 yeah. pack box. It was mental, wasn't it? It was a good yeah, one. That also. definitely helped us this time around. Should we do that again? If that if that is available, should we do it? Because like we said, it got us the con collection complete really early. Or should we pace ourselves a bit? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. What would you like to see? But let's just move on to the next binder. Okay, next up we have the Topps Bundesliga 2021-22 sticker collection. This one we didn't really get into. We did open a box of it and then nothing further after that. So this is basically a box worth of stickers in here. Once again, we've left that in. And it's safe to say this one's quite a jazzy collection, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stickers, which were quite the challenge. This like one is this a sticker, one. yes. So yeah. we've got two halves there. I see we need eight. Yeah, we need, we need quite a lot. As I said, this is basically a box worth but some awesome stuff here with the, I guess, records, is it? Yeah, some sort of signature nice styles there. Nice start well, yeah. stadiums. So, as we said, we're not really close with this. We opened the box that was sent to us by Tops, and then we didn't really get into anything after that. It was around Christmas when it was released, so we were very busy with a lot of things. So, uh, yeah. It's but still some, cool. From some very jazzy things in here. I do like the de design of the sticker itself. There's the team sticker as a full team sticker as well, shiny at the end. And a few nice bits after that, or before the team, actually. Yeah, some nice informational kind of pages as well. It's just a shame that we don't read German. Yeah, It's a really nice album. It is a nice it. album, isn't it? But it's just a shame we didn't go back to it and try and complete it. Maybe we will one day. We say that a lot, don't we? But maybe we will. There's the closest team so far. And then through to Dortmund. Hallam was still here, wasn't he? He's got the shiny. Bellingham's there. So it's a nice Dortmund team this year. And then just moving on, there's some... More jazzy stuff at the back as well, after yeah. the teams. Some really nice kind of unique stickers in this collection. It was an absolute blast to open. Yeah. It was. It was quite fun, wasn't it? So we'll just fly through it as quick as we can. There's all the products for the actual cards, the Bundesliga cards, which was in our last sort of birthday video. Dream Team, again, not stuck in, as you saw throughout most albums. We've left that blank. And going through some nice kits as well. well they were the stickers weren't they yeah they're stickers too <laughs> there was a lot of some things, stickers some things don't look like stickers were stickers yeah <laughs> i don't know how big of a fan i am of that aspect but lots of different was, shapes and sizes 
yeah, it's interesting stickers and it? it makes it a bit of a challenge when you come to stick it. So coming towards the end nearly, there's Bayern, not doing so well for them. And then coming towards Wolfsburg, I want to see show these jazzy ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here they there are. We go. They are the kids' club. So these are drawn by kids and made into stickers. Yeah. So really cool. So it was. Quite, we, I, I thought we got them all. In we the are, we need so many, but it's yeah. so nice to have them in the album now. We can see who it was that drew them, and it gives us a little bit of context. I mean, it's That's the dream, so isn't cool. it? If, if you draw one it's of those, cool, isn't it? Is that you, Laura? <laughs> but also, some of them are sort of not on the page. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know why they've so done that. That's, that's off the page. I mean, that, look at that move one. Move it up, man. Just move look at that yeah, one. That's cool, yeah. That's My good. favourite one. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so then we have the... Bundesliga 2. Yeah. yeah. So these have just got a section in the back because they are featured in the cards quite a lot. So kind of half teams, let's say, or five side teams. <laughs> yeah, I think there's two for each one. I would love to see some championship teams in the Premier League stuff, it would be cool. Yeah, well, that's a whole different issue, isn't oh, it, with the licenses. But there we go, <laughs> quick run through of the Bundesliga sticker album. Let's get into the next binder. So the next binder is the Match Attacks Extra 21-22 collection. So this will be the next release in the Match Attacks season, coming up quite soon actually, the back end of next year. Yeah, so obviously as we said, we collected these from November last year to November this year. So this falls in that time zone. Yes, okay, so we start with the squad updates. It's slightly different to the main collection as you know. Yeah. Quite a lot of squad updates actually, wasn't there this season? There we go. Hopefully you guys seen all these binders as well, maybe helps you lay yours out if you're not sure how to do it. Yes, then we had the managers, which was yeah. really, really cool. Well to return, wasn't it? Yes. Ooh, ooh nine, look at that. No Arteta there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the ones that's actually maintained us. He wasn't manager, safe. So. He wasn't safe in his job he back wasn't then, was right he? Then was he? Okay. I don't think they wanted to risk it. <laughs> Funny though, isn't it? Okay, it the away kits. Starburst were nice. Then the Starburst. They? Really did like these. Really good stuff. Okay, then we went on to the shirt service, which were quite cool as well. Nice kind of shirt design in the back. You can see it more on, say, these ones. Yeah, a more obvious really shirt, nice. like the Inter Milan one there as well. Yeah. Then we had some kind of action highlights. Yeah, I love these. Super I love good. the action stuff. Yeah, that is up there in our favour, isn't it? You get some good kind of shots, don't you? Nunes when he was at Benfica there, actually. Still. Yeah, cool. Okay, so then we got on to the inserts. We had the mega values. We had this kind of black and green kind of craziness. It was really awesome. We yeah. also had this out of this world, which what a subset that was. We did release, we did actually um, exclusively that, reveal, yes, yeah. which was really cool. The only thing is the color scheme is a bit is a bit similar to the mega values. So maybe in this collection, I'd like to see each subset yes, be, be completely very different. Completely different, yeah. yeah. It would be really. Well, it cool. was nice. The out of it this was world. Cool, yeah. Okay, so then we go on to the stars of twenty twenty one again. Fantastic. Super cool. Love it. I think these are in like the festive box the season before that, so it was nice to see them in the main collection. Yeah. Then we go on to the hat trick heroes. Good stuff. I think Han's already got about three hat-tricks already, hasn't he? <laughs> Crazy. Did the hero with own hat-tricks? <laughs> yeah, he's just his own category, like a super hat-trick hero. Was this the first time we saw the Heritage Man of the Matches? I believe it was. I think it was, yeah, and they do look super amazing, don't they? Such a throwback, isn't it? They look absolutely classic. Good stuff. Okay, so then we go on to the rest of those, and, and we the have trophy the trophies. Cards. These were great. I love they them. actually feel amazing. They're, they're a bit thicker than a normal card, so... They're, yeah. they're awesome. They've got a bit of texture to them. Each then, different competition, of course. Then we did add just a rewards card at the end. So then we go on to the 100 clubs, and we did, of course, have the 100 club legends in this collection. Absolutely classic. Love them. Yeah, half of them legends, yes. half of them normal, with the 101 Ronaldo unbeatable. You see yes. now? Well, he's not even there anymore. He's unemployed. Okay, so signature styles. We did actually have to buy this desk to get this we complete. We did, yes. We didn't pull that from a pack at all. I don't think we even have to this day, no. so that's something. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so then we go on to the gold limited editions. Okay, so we opened quite a lot of limited edition packs. We did our usual limited edition hunt and we still didn't manage it because the tricky thing is they are randomly in packs. So you're doubling up a lot, you're taking a shot at a bigger pool of cards. It's not just it's not just one or two that are random. All of them are random except the starter pack ones. Yes. So your chances of doubling up are bigger, and that's why we would say we prefer exclusive limited editions to it being random. As you see here, 
As I said, yeah. we've opened a lot of packs and there's there's still quite a significant amount missing. Or maybe if you do want to keep it random, maybe do like some kind of narrow down kind of like they used to well, do for the I'd be surprised if anyone else has opened more packs than we did. So if we can't do it, what <laughs> oh, chance yeah. does anyone else have? Okay, so then we do go on to the Blue Bellingham. I think Ooh. that was a Tops.com exclusive. The Scanex is awesome. The Scanex awesome. is awesome, good stuff. They were from the mini tins. And then we have, of course, the kind of comic book effect. Megatin from the um, Megatins, yes, yeah. the two. Oh, well, that was a controversial that, pick there, wasn't that it? That was, yes. People were not happy about that. My United yes. Defence. It was interesting. With Wyatt on there still. Okay, so then we go on to the Pro Elite Shields. As you see, we actually did quite well. Yeah, I think these are my favourite Pro Elites. I think we doubled up on a they're couple They're not of Shields, though. They're the extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you I, can see it. I prefer see. these, I think, because it's a more card shape. Yeah, it works better, doesn't it? Okay, so then we do go on to the parallels that we do have away. Again, we probably do have more somewhere, but what are you going to do? This is most of go. them, though. We did want this clip. Look at that star burst in parallel. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. These are just what we've got. We've okay, just there we just put go. them in the back. There's no specific order to them. It's just They're just in there. We don't want to get rid of them. We want to keep the ones we get, but ne not necessarily go after them all. But what a fantastic collection that was, right? Yeah, good stuff. Let us know. Are you excited for the new Match Tags Extra? That will be coming quite soon. And uh, let's move on to the next album. Okay, next is the Adrenaline XL Plus 2022 collection. This is similar to Match Attacks Extra, but for the Adrenaline XL. Of course, the new one will be released in February this year. And this one was kind of different because last season with the Plus, it kind of was an extension to the main collection. It did go in the same binder. This one had a whole new binder and it was kind of like a secondary collection, a whole new collection. So we had Ultimates, they were in the same as Golden Ballers, the same pack ratio, so we didn't manage to get all of them. I think we doubled up on most of them again. Yeah, other than, other than the one that we'd want to double up yeah. on. It was a bit of a shame. So when you go into the teams, you're getting full teams like this. So that was a new thing for the sort of additional collection, like with Match Attacks Extra or with the Plus. As I did say last time with Plus, it we did go in the same binder. So it's a bit odd to have the full team, but we got this fantastic top line of Captain, the Badge and the Fans Favourite all matches up with this sort of target area around the badge. Yeah. But yeah, full team. Some of the other inserts on there are absolutely awesome as well. Like that Magic Man is really, really cool. And of course, the Rising Star it was a really, really kind of different design. So that stood out a lot. But with it being a full team, a lot of the cards and players especially were the same as what was in the main collection. You didn't really have the new signings or anything like that. So it was a bit of an odd one. The direction they went with it so we didn't get it complete actually but we do have full arsenal there are some fantastic inserts like you said the magic man and i think assist king as well yeah looks that's awesome cool there. the return of the kind of crazy gold machine, machine yeah. yeah good stuff yeah some fantastic cards that just i i'm not sure about the structure i think a lot of you guys questioned it as well so maybe we'll see something different it, i think it's the fact that the players are the same as the main collection and it goes in a completely different album i like the idea of the secondary album the same with the match attacks extra but full teams i think maybe isn't the way forward maybe what yeah. do you think i think it needs to be more updated you yeah, do let us know in the comments what you think if you collected the plus collection the year before this or what you'd like to see in the new one do let us know that there's some golden ballers mixed in places as well i just did point that out we we did get two out of the three there were three yeah golden i think ballers, we need so. Declan rice is yeah, Rice is the one we need. So there's the Liverpool one. I, I said that because the next one is the Ronaldo. So there were the two. They, I like that. I like to put them in the teams, though. If they're going yeah, to have teams, yeah. Yeah, made it a bit yeah. differently. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than just free at random free at the end would have been annoying. a bit random. Would have yeah. been annoying. So yeah, we didn't get it complete, as you can see. Lots of gaps. Not too bad, but not close, we'd say. Still quite a few to go after. Most of them are base, though, again. Yeah, I mean, we could pick them up. I think what happens is when you collect as many collections as we do, you, just move on to the you next kind one, of forget yeah. about them a little bit. So Yeah, you move on to the next one. So, yeah, limited editions as well. I don't know why there's a gap. I can't remember yeah, what things are. Yeah, it must be a magazine one that we've got somewhere. We or... must... Actually, is it? Yeah. yeah we did we not buy it? Yeah, because no, got... yeah. It's Sissoko, isn't it? We've still got that. We didn't open the magazine, didn't we? Oh, yeah. we still got the magazine. It's Sissoko <laughs> and Watford, I think. We've still yeah. got that. We bought the magazine, but didn't actually open it. So, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. But they're nice limited editions, though, aren't they? Yeah, Odd they are really, really well. nice, yeah. But, yeah, a, a kind of... I didn't think this went down well. Like I said, I think a lot of you guys in our comments were saying it was random essentially yeah it was sort of too so, uh, similar let us know the changes you'd like to see for 
the new one which is releasing in February, something to look out for. We will open it. We did enjoy it and you can look forward to that. But there's that album for the Plus Collection from last season. Let's move on to the final album. Okay, so the final collection that we collected in the past year is this Turbo Attacks 2022. Our only non-football collection. Yeah, we did actually have quite a lot of fun opening this, so we'll go through the collection kind of quickly. You've probably seen it before. Yeah. Okay, so we have the nice strategies. I do actually really like this. I do think this cool. was a huge improvement on the, the season before. Yes, okay, so there we go. We have the teams. You kind of have the team kind of crest and then the car, etc. Yeah. It's all the same structure for each one. So you can see we do need quite a few, but... Like we said, it isn't kind of our main content, so it's not really a problem. It's just kind of a bit of fun for yeah, us. Yeah, so do let us know if you want to see the new Turbo Attacks collection from us when yes. it's released. Okay, we have the heroes. You did actually get some that were nice and big. That was quite cool, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, some additional ones, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so the stat attacks. There was quite a lot of inserts, wasn't there, in this? There was, yeah. There we go. We have each and every card, which is really awesome. It's Speedster. And then the team duos. Track, track masters. masters. Yeah, they were cool. And the sprint ones. That was yeah. cool. Okay. Lots of variety, like I said. Lots and lots of things. Lots of live actions as well. There we go. You can see all of them. Look yeah. how many there I mean, are. The most controversial season, wasn't it, last year? <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. This season's all done and dusted. Like I said, there's quite a lot of those. Still live actions. There we go. So we have epic moments. Good stuff. And then we go on to the awards ones, which are actually really cool. We've got a lot of them in the parallels as well, which is awesome. Good yeah, stuff. Some fantastic cars in here, isn't there? Yes. The limited editions, especially when we get there. I absolutely love the design on those. So going through, yeah, we've got the the team of the the radio message of the season. I like that one. That <laughs> yeah, was the jelly bean one. jelly bean thing. Yeah, good it? stuff, good stuff. Okay, so we have a few more record breakers here. We go on to some kind of more awards, race winners, yeah. Champion there as well. Champion, F2 yeah. Two champions should be there. Three. We didn't get the F two actually. We didn't actually. Because we got no. him in parallel, which we'll we see. did. Because okay. the worst parallels at this time around. So we have these superstars. And then we go on to the Grand Prix Boosters. And 100 Clubs. Yes, which we there didn't we have go. Last time, I think that's the first time they're featured in a Turbo Tax collection. Super cool, weren't they? Okay, then we have a few idols. These were quite rare. Idols actually. were rare, wasn't they? They were very yeah. hard to get. Same with these ones as well, Country Pride. We only got one. We well, only got one, that's how rare so they were. Were they the tin exclusives? Were they yeah. Master and Apprentice? Well, they yeah. were, were they with the. They were tin exclusives, tins. I think, yeah. So they were really cool. And then I think Future these were. Future Legends, yeah. Yeah. They're okay, awesome. Good. So Hall of Fame as well. Yes. Before awesome. we go on to the limited editions. Now look at that. So I love the fact that these are gold, silver and bronze. A diamond as well and then a few extra. Yeah, I think it's dramatically better. And just I love the it. design on them and the feel of them were insane. And it yes. just there's more fun to do, right? I would say so. I would I probably love them. So, we did have these super yeah. rare. Ferrari red. Which is really cool. Leclerc. There was an orange one as well. I can't remember what that was called now. The Verstappen Dutch Orange. Yeah, Dutch Orange, that's it. And the yeah. Hamilton one, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah. So there was lots and lots of really good cards to go after. They were super rare. Awesome stuff. So there we go. And then we go on to the parallels. We, ha we have, what, eight in there? Seven? Pinks. Pinks. We've got pinks. So I don't think they were numbered in any way, but they still are really cool. I mean, look at yeah. that pink. That's incredible. Yeah, the Hamilton's nice as well, isn't it? And, yes. And the Verstappen up there as well. So like we said, lots of awesome stuff. We loved the limited editions, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, but that is going to be every single album and collection that we started and collected in this past year. Shall we try and collect more this coming year? So from now to November next year, yes. which will be our sixth year on YouTube. Which is actually incredible. So thank you for all the support over the five years that we've been on YouTube. We've had an absolute blast. Yeah, we love sharing our collections with you guys and we hope that can continue for a long time. But so much fun. Plenty more to come from us this year. So do look out for that. But for today, we hope you've enjoyed seeing all these binders and we'll see you next time. Bye.